Hey there, Rockstar. This is Ruben Witter, expressing gratitude to Anchor.fm for distributing Rambunctious Rumbastic Newscast to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, as well as an entire universe of podcast platforms. You know what? Let me tell you about Anchor.fm, just in case you haven't heard of it before. Anchor.fm is the easiest, 100% free, one-stop shop to record, edit, and sonify your podcast, all from your smartphone or computer. You, the creator, just have to provide your golden voice, an internet connection, and the user-friendly interface will help you guide yourself through all the creation tools available. Did you know that solely because of Anchor.fm, Rambunctious Bombastic Newscast became monetized with no minimum listenership? Yeah, you heard that right. And the same can happen to your podcast too. Thank you again to Anchor.fm. Download the Anchor app for free or go to Anchor.fm to get started today. Hashtag Anchor. Hey there, Rockstar. Welcome back to Rambunctious Bombastic Newscast, a.k.a. RBM, The Voice Notes, brought to you by N, hosted by Ruben Witter. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so I interrupt your broadcast for this special announcement. Like, literally. I was going to, like, I don't know, a little different politode, but, like, I have to memori- memorialise <laughs> the death of my younger self. Now, that may sound dramatic, you know, how we do up on here, but, like, girl, I feel like I feel like I need to, need to have some sort of ritual or something. You know what I mean? Like, like, gosh, it's just, it's just, it is what it is, I suppose. But like, yeah, this is not a quarter life crisis, by the way, because A, I may not even live till, till 100. So 25 is not my quarter life, that's been and gone. <laughs> my gosh, but honestly speaking, it felt like the world in which... When I say the world, like, I'm not conspiracy, And conspiracy means, like, you know what? If anything, like, has conspiracy theory vibes or is conspiracy theory- theory-esque, then you say it's conspiracy. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to, trying to, you know, wear my tin hat and everything else when I say this, but the, when I say the world, I mean the world in which I was a part of. Like, it seemed like in that world... Baby, oh gosh, you know, the reason why I do so much, even though I don't really do so much in the grand scheme of things, I really think, but like, had I've had, had a, a fulfilling childhood in any sense of the word, um, like friends and everything else too, had I been filled with love instead of just like hate and vitriol by, I'm not coming to my parents, at this point, I'm not coming to my parents. I mean, biologically, lawfully, who knows? But at this point, like, you have to earn that title. It's not enough for you to donate your egg or your sperm. You have to... Not for me, anyway. I don't know how you do. Let any tweet me at Ruben Witter if you feel any, any different. But, like, I don't feel like I was filled with love, A. B, I don't feel like I was given the skills to navigate the world. Not even the world in which I live today. The world at large. Like, in terms of, of like how to maintain a job and how to, you know, talk to this one or that one or how to, uh, or even how to, how to properly make friends and stuff. Like, like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I've had anyone who, who wants to aid me in navigating this world. And so maybe I should put on my big boy pants and do it myself. But at the same time, like, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to feel some kind of pull. In terms of, like, hang on, I thought you were supposed to be my best friend. I thought you were supposed to be my family. I thought you were supposed to be this one or that one. Like, I feel no pull at all. And when I say that, that perhaps in a physical sense, maybe I'm doing my own thing, granted. But if you need someone to to talk to on the phone for hours and end, or to, you know, message or whatever, like, that's fine. Like, I remember days back when, when, you know, MSN Messenger, Microsoft, MSN, MSN, Microsoft Network, something like that. Um, yeah, we used to just talk for hours and hours and hours while we're doing our homework, while we're watching TV. Hours and hours and hours. We have to have the most, most, most mind bending conversations. We'd laugh, we'd play games. It'll be, it'll be a whole everything. And 
for whatever reason, that's been replaced with, like, work, work, work culture. But, like, why? Why should it? And plus, like, like, I have to record this pod episode several times because, like, there was a lot to unpack within half an hour. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it to schedule, to timely and everything else. Gosh. It would be nice if I went through the world not feeling so insane, but wanting to be a happy-go-lucky person, wanting to have a good time, wanting to treat other people fairly and with respect and equally. I wish that was was the norm, rather than having a whole cacophony <laughs> of rules and regulations in place because people turn another way. And, like... I don't know. Did I have to have to be taught that killing someone was, was wrong? Well, that's up for philosophical, for, for, for philosophical debate till the end of time. But, like, I, in my own spirit, don't feel like I want to or need to take anyone else's life. Or, like, I don't feel like I need to steal. I don't feel like I need to to cheat. I don't feel like I need to... to... Uh, to to work, work in a job in an unsafe way. Like, I don't... You know, it's like... It's very, very, it's very jarring sometimes when you really crack things on its head and feel like, oh, hang on, this is why the rule is in place. You know what I mean? And maybe as fr- a, a, a ridiculous, that's a whole rabbit hole for someone else, honestly and truly. But like, wow, just wow, wow. And even things like, like, <sighs> Wow, wow. I didn't think I'd go all the way there. I didn't go all the way there on the other ones that I recorded, so... Wow, let's just sit on that for just a minute now. Even though... I'm just going to put it out there, just before we move on. And child abuse is not okay. Neglect is also abuse. And... And... I don't understand what kind of person wants to hurt their own children. When they see their own child hurting, why don't they want to do something about it? Why? Crying... Oh, my gosh. No, their own sibling... Why did it wasn't anyone want to do anything about that? Why is that okay in so many households? It's oh girl. You know if and when I leave if and when, like if hello. But when I leave this life, I like to leave it knowing that no child will ever be abused again. No child will ever feel neglected, never child will ever feel unwanted and loved. Like they're not worthy of their own life. Seriously. If anyone wanted to let me know how the world at large works, I'd expect it to be people who were who were who were aiding my, my creation more than anything else. I mean, having daddy issues and mommy issues. <sighs> like, is it my weakness or is it my strength? Because I don't think I'd be in the positions where I am now if it wasn't for that. But like, earth, I'm at the weirdest who I would have met. You know what I mean? Like, like attachment theory is like a legit thing, and like. The attachment you have with your parents and your first friendship groups are the ones which you are going to attempt to model for the rest of your life. It's very, very real. Like, read up, read up on psychology, I highly recommend it. But then people want to be upset when when said child grows up and, like, reflects back on his or her or their life. And then they want to be upset when said child does not want, want them in their lives. It's like, but surely... Oh my gosh... <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Like, being your own parent is 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 a wonderful skill, which I highly recommend anyone listening to this master way before they need to. Way before they need to. And I don't know what, what they expected of me, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, having no expectations on a child is, like, freeing. But at the same time, like, girl, never, never have I heard anything on the, on the lines of, you know what, Ruben, it'd be great if you were just this. Like, being this would make me so happy, so proud of you. Like, and me bringing projects to them and me trying to let them know about my dreams and everything else. All I, just got, all I got was consistent pushback. And it's like, can you just, like, support me, please? Like, is that is that okay? Can you, like, let me know I'm doing a good job and what I want to do? Ugh, whatever. I guess the sky isn't even the limit now, so, you know what I mean? So not only was I fed that, but let's talk about dating. Now, I bought myself a dildo, still okay because save the whales, but like, baby, I'm not even ashamed anymore. Like, <laughs> I just have way more dicks on my backside than I'm, I'm having right now. 
I should. I should be in, like I can get pussy like 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 nothing. Like nobody does this. Like it's very like ugh, it's like baby, I'm not getting anyone pregnant. No, not tonight. Baby, I didn't even want to entertain the idea of the of the events that would that would that would ensue. Is that the right word? I hope so. <laughs> after after a situation like that. I didn't even want to entertain that in my mind. I'm like, God damn, you think like men make traditionally more sexually available. <laughs> like, it'd be, so, oh, God damn, it's so, you know, sometimes I like to say, well, most times I like to say, um, you know what, it's just a challenge. It's a setback. Oh, it's a g- opportunity for growth, bitch. It is just so goddamn impossible to like, it's it's very weird and it's like what energy baby i was uh, one time i was going to see a spiritualist i was like okay what there must be something else because what energy am i putting out into the universe that lets people know that it's okay to treat someone like trash like that am i just um, okay so i'm learning that these on these apps and everything like mostly the side of people who like who can't get any in person but i don't know if i said this before but I use these apps in the way in which, like, like, say you're at a club, right? And there's 500 people at the club. Are you really going to have a in-depth conversation with all 500 of those people? Just Even just to get some strange or to get something to, like, f- that will g- that's going to last a longer time? Most likely not. In fact, it would be probably impossible. It'll be like, that would, that would, that would take up, take up the, the evening, the whole evening and the next evening. And that's and even after that. Whereas if you're on this app swiping or scrolling, then you can probably have a full full on conversation with all of them in no time at all. Or you can sort out the ones between like the ones who you like, the ones which you don't like. Like instantly, you know? But oh my gosh, these apps are, are just like I don't wanna I mean I don't wanna say it's these these apps, but like can I just meet just that happy girl lucky person who just wants to have a good time? Who's not in the in the fucking closet or he's not fucking married? God damn. I was talking literally, girl, literally last night. And I gave him F I don't oh I didn't give him my body, of course. But in terms of like reading him down, I was like, you know what? You're trash. <laughs> and I'll tell you about it too. Like, I said what I said. I said like his cause cause I don't know what's worse. The fact that he just openly said, oh yeah, by the way, oh yeah, I'm married, ha <laughs> ha, like, like it's supposed to be a 10 or something, it was like a joke or something. It's like, how, what are you te- trying to teach me? Because whether you like it or not, um, especially because you're older, like human beings teach each other through their behavior. You know, especially when it comes to like these, these man-made things like marriage, you know what I mean? Or oh, God-made, depending on who you are. But like, like what are you trying to teach me? That it's okay to sort of, Cheat on someone if you're married. You're fucking married. What? Like I didn't. I didn't get it. It's like, baby. There's. There's. I mean, for people. For people out there, there are scales to it. I mean, relationship, engagement, marriage. But like, it's like. Oh my gosh. It's like the YouTube video I made. Like I assumed that if you got got into a assistant management assistant management position, then you'd you'd give a shit. Like I assumed that if you got married, got fucking married, then you'd give a shit. You know what I mean? Baby, a relationship could just, just could just be for a season. Honey, an engagement could break off. But you sign that dotted line and you're sharing assets and, and this... No. What the fuck? Literally, what the fuck? Close your legs to married men. How? What is that? Like, not only does he think that it's okay to, to cheat, he thought that he could get some from me. Or from anyone. They thought that He thought that people... Oh, well, I've done it before, so maybe you... No. What the fuck? I just want, I just want a dick with no bullshit attached to it. Like, why? Why do people just operate themselves in that kind of way? And they assume that, like, I mean, I've stopped assuming that I'm patient zero a very long time ago. But like, really, bitch? Like, is that is that is that the the, the path of life to get to get married or get a girlfriend or something? And then like, oh well, I'll just like cheat anyway. No. If I trust you with my heart and soul like that in this is a relationship, then I'm gonna expect some fucking commitment. But I see. Cause these these people, but like most people who I've met in my life, they seem to want commitment in terms of, of physical terms. Like 
I was sad, even though the ring was trash. And his and his behalf, how can he just look at that game ring and then still swipe, it was swipe and scroll at the same time? I didn't fucking, I didn't fucking know. That's really a day. Gosh. But, for whatever reason, whenever I was dating people, and I was like, well, it seemed like guy to guy to guy to guy to guy, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because I understand if you have societal pressure for you to buy a house or settle down and everything, if you're a heterosexual couple, you can call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. But if I see a gay couple walking on the street, most gay couples, lesbian or, or male, people are male, um, are never going to have children. Like, that's just, that's, I mean, hello, call it biology, call it, like... I don't know what, but that's just, that's just how, how the world at large kind of works. So, and the pink pound is like a thing, like, <laughs> like expendable income because like you don't necessarily have to have the pressure to like prepare a house for a, for a fucking child, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So like, yeah, for me, it was very jarring to me when every single motherfucker who I met was like, oh, that's a nice kitchen. I was going to move in together. I'm like, sorry, I just go, I just want to have a good time. Like, like, oh, what do you want to cook for me? Baby, I didn't cook for myself. I eat takeaways. Like, I can, I can read a menu like nobody's business. But why would you, that's what I did, I, I just don't fucking understand. Like, and you know what? I didn't have to understand. I just had to walk away. But it seemed like, and oh my god, this one guy who lied to me about. Okay, so I like older guys, right? I mean, I did before, but hey, yo, most of them are going through something. So I'm like, goddamn, you know, people of my own age don't fucking speak to me. I didn't understand why, but like, ugh, whatever. Maybe, maybe I'm too mature. It's like maybe I, I am, I'm too straight looking for the gay guys, and I'm too flamboyant for the girls most of the time. <laughs> Girls kind of like it though, um, and like I think I'm too mature for the young guys, but I'm too immature for the older guys. So it's like, what the fuck do I do? What do I fucking do? You know, it's so strange. So I I like older guys, right? And like this guy, he this guy told me that like, he was in the days, and I was like, oh okay, um, cool, that's fine. But then then a couple months down the road, he said, oh sorry, really, I'm forty, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? How would you like it if someone did that to you? That's the thing. Treat other people how you like to be treated. Get out the energy in which you'd like to receive. You cannot operate yourself in the low-frequency bullshit-ass way and then be upset with your own life. I refuse to believe that anyone's... Like, don't be... That's why sometimes on, like, depression, that's a conversation for someone else. Because, like... Ugh, because, like, baby, if you... You give out what you get... And whether people are assholes first and they give it, and people give it back to them and then they get stuck in that way, or whether it's actually a neural neurochemical imbalance is a conversation, conversation for someone else. However, depressed people are the only population who I've met who do not want to, who do who don't want to get better. It's like oh god, but that's a whole other conversation. It really is. It really is. God, I don't want to say that at later date too if you want to, but like yeah. People operate on the fact that they want someone to put up with the bullshit, put up with the crap, rather than actually want to find another human being to have a magical time with. It's, it's It freaks me out. Truly, it does. And baby, I didn't know you from a kind of pain. I don't care what every other guy did to you, girl. I'm not them. So why are you trying to put me in the same bucket as those? It's like, yeah, but everyone else who I dated it said, oh, old man, like, no, I like older guys. Well, I did, like, being 40 would, like, so fucking turn me on. But, like, since you lied, it's like, oh, okay, now it's like, you know what I mean? Like, gosh, you just never know who you're going to walk into. And it's like, had he had just said, oh, you know, you know, I'm 40 and this, this and that. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I am so, honey, I just want, want a good time, like... Guys, keep it kosher now, depending on, on your on, depending on your jurisdiction. Hey yo, legit. Don't have a give back. But it's like, I didn't get it. I didn't understand why he would just like put hurdles in front of like that in heart like that. Like they and then they want to be upset that they didn't have anyone close to them and they then they want to get depression. It's like, but how do you just operate yourself in a good way? Then like I didn't understand why you why you would you'd be you'd be depressed. Stop being a fucking arsehole. Stop, stop, stop putting limits on your own own breath. Like, stop stepping on your own fucking neck. And then maybe you'll be happy. Hello. Hello, gosh. There's so much, so much evil, twisted bullshit in the world. Why do you want to add more to your own life? 
For who? For who? I know why. Because lots of these people didn't have actually have lives. It's like, it's like, maybe I'm too, I'm too happy go looking and too busy to be a fucking honest with you to bother with all this crap. Like, I don't have time to keep up. Honey, I don't have time to keep up with with my own creativity. Never mind these fucking web of lies that people want to create. Like. <laughs> Do you, it's 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 a bit exhausting to 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 think of like oh which line did they tell this person and like it's a bit exhausting it's a bit exhausting like trying to oh oh where were you last night husband oh you know I just went to the corner shop like isn't that exhausting to like try and fabricate things like that isn't it weird like gosh isn't it exhausting getting a fucking mortgage and having that to pay is it exhausting like being pregnant at a very very young age. No, granted, in the UK, like, maybe it's like, it's honestly, it's abnormal as fuck. It's like, complete anomaly. Like, why would you ever want to go out on your own and like, pursue your dreams? Like, it's it's like that. Whereas in the in the US, it's like, that's the, that's the, that's the supposed American dream what sort of thing. But the British, it was more about like, community and like, wait, wait, where you're born is where you'll stay. And everything like that. Complete in no shade, that's how it is. Legit. But, like, people tend to sort of try and tra- entrap people in terms of these, like, oh, I have to be with him because he put a roof over my head, or I have to be with him because we have to pay this mortgage, or I have to be with him because, like, he got me pregnant, or I got her pregnant, or whatever else. Like, it's just insane. It's really, really weird. It's, like, in terms of friendship, too, like, I didn't... I didn't... Ugh. Gosh, gosh. You know what? The worst thing is, like, knowing that you are not the problem. Like, honestly speaking, you I mean, you are the common denominator in, in everything you go through, but it's like, damn it, girl. If only I didn't entrust people so much, then perhaps I would be all the way, I'd be in a different place. You know, it's very, very strange like that. It's very, very strange. However, I guess, you know, you sort of keep on, keep on repeating the same patterns until something gets big enough. It's like, oh, well, no fucking way. No fucking way. Gosh. But then it's like, it's weird how people just don't want to step up like that. It's actually kind of, kind of, oh, well, I guess it's kind of beautiful as well because then you, you're forced to, like, sort of go in your own path, aren't you? Like, imagine the imagine the first human beings, legit, in the lot of Hamlets or whatever they were in. Had that one, or had that couple of people um, not decided that, you know what? I want to go over there and see what this is like because this this ain't working for me anymore. Would we really have the complexities of the planet Earth right now? Would we? You know, it's something to think about. Huh. But actually, it's weird. I feel like now this is where we get a bit conspiracy. I feel like people are trying to force feed me their shit because, like, I did not explore life enough yet to sort of like. So, because if I if I had lived life right and wanted to s- settle down, which is disgusting, by the way, please don't settle down. Don't settle in your spirit. S- find a find a finite place to live, yes, but like, please don't don't settle. That's just like, well, I could have this, but you know what? I'll make do. No, you'll be upset in the long run. Trust. <sighs> but like, but the thing that I understand the least is that. If I lived life right, now would be the time at 25 that I'd be like, you know, looking to settle down sort of thing. So then, why is it that all these people who wanted me to settle down in the first place disappeared? Why is no one that that effort to get me to settle down now? You know what I mean? It's like, people just want to, like, just indoctrinate people into bullshit because, like, they think they didn't didn't know any better. And then when they're called out on it, they're, they're like, oh, well, oh, no. But, like, oh, that's so harsh. But, like... No, it's not. But you get what you you get what you you reap what you say. You do, you do, you do, you do. Oh god, that's enough about that. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> like, ah, <sighs> gosh. Okay, okay, okay. So, I was so excited for the rest of my life because someone taught me that contrast was very important in life. And honestly speaking. Sometimes you have to make the weirdest sacrifice. Now, I didn't go to university, but I want to go back to university. I, I, well, I dropped out twice, which is why I'm saying going back. 
But when it was the first time, oh god, she was just trying to feed me that crap, and I was like, oh, can you just like stop and like let me, let me be me, please? Like, gosh, that's the thing. People just didn't understand. It's like I want to be myself more than I want to be your version of what I should be. So, I yo, I yo. <sighs> gosh, so I'm looking forward to that definitely. Um. The twenties are no joke. <laughs> By the way, the twenties are, are no joke. So I'm looking forward to that. And also the thing about my birthday is that it's on the first fourteenth of July, which is pretty much smack dab bang in the middle of the year. So I sort of encounter two New Year's, which is really great. Like, the first half of the year, I'm, like, young, I'm fresh, I'm, you know, living it up. And the second half of the year, even though that's, even though that's where we're into summer, that tends to be a lot more serious for me for whatever reason. Like, I tend to, to focus a lot heavily on, like, making decisions and and completing goals and having trips and excursions. Um, and having more of a blast outside rather than inside. For me, I'm really feeling really connected to the Earth right now, especially the, lun- the lunar cycle. And um, the moon is the planet. Well, it's not a planet, but you know, astrological planet. Um, of Cancer, my sun sign. My, I don't know, I'm my Venus sign actually, I believe. So yeah, I'm just truly looking forward to the rest of my life. Am I, am I, am. Like, Thank you so much for these lessons learned so far in life. And I'm grateful that I have the spirit where I'm able to decipher. You know what? That's bullshit. I know it's bullshit. You know it's bullshit. Everyone around me knows it's bullshit. Therefore, that is not being a part of my life. And I think that I've had the experiences in which I can make an important decision to have good experiences rather than people who, who... Hey, hey, yo, let's be real, you're bumbling through life. Um, are people who just uh, seem to like, like, you know what, I can see the path. As much as I want to harm people with depression or anything else, and it's just, it's not all mental illnesses, it's not. Because, like, other people with all mental illnesses, like, they're like, you know what, this is a problem for me and I want it out of my life. Yeah, girl. <sighs> Hello. We already had the conversation. Um, but, like, I'm... I can see the path to where someone would 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 not have a fulfilling life, and depression could be a very serious thing. It could be. I'm not saying that if you have depression, then like then like it's, it's not legit. But it's like maybe there are many many avenues to get out of it. Which for whatever reason, it just seems it, that seems such a challenge to get people who have depression out of depression. It's like, but but I feel like it's not going to work. Well, because you have. Uh, it's like it's, a, it's the weirdest cat could catch really too, but I can easily see the path now to how someone could actually get down there, and I feel like I'm not on the path at all, you know, because I've been through so much bullshit. I'm just like purging it out, a and b, like it's just, it's just like no, it's just. No, why would I ever want to put up with that bullshit? It's almost like, like, I made an analogy to my friend. If you're listening to this, then hey, shout out. And I said something along the lines of, of, it's almost like if you are 50-50 on handing in your notice, and then, like, you get a phone call saying that your workplace bent down, and you'd be like, oh, okay, I mean... I was going to try and get another job anyway, but should I feel upset about it? Should I feel, I swear, that way? Like, society at large has so many rules and things like that, and people just tend to just put on with other people's shit. And it's like, that's just not the life in which I want to live. So I'm grateful that I saw so many different types of bullshit. I'm like, you know what? I don't want any of it. And I'm just going to pursue my own thing. You know? But at the same time, had I had someone's blessing, anyone's blessing, <laughs> then, like, perhaps I would have tried really hard to do the thing, and then, like, I would have felt like I was I was done. And then I could, you know, settle down or go back to my family or this one or this and that thing. 
But now, like I said earlier, the sky isn't even the limit. So now I feel like I can just like, fully just like, run towards my dreams and never stop. Never stop. Also, don't discount your years. Every year that I've had this far has been monumental. And just because someone isn't there to witness your dreams, first hand or second hand, does not mean that they don't exist. Your dreams, your accomplishments, your goals, your experiences, does not mean that they're not valid. You know? It doesn't mean that they're, that they're not valid. And don't you, don't, and don't allow anyone to take your integrity away from you. You don't. When all said and done, except for creativity and art and philosophy, that's what you have. You know? Keep true to yourself. Keep true to yourself. And if someone doesn't want to reach your standards, then, then oh well. Move on. <laughs> Move on. It's like, gosh. Gosh. And, you know, I'm going to try my best to, like, not give attention to, to negativity. Even though I still have a couple of, of like, crappy dating stories which I still want to share. <laughs> but, like, that's just so, so that I can either A, teach others, or B, like... Or B, just, like, because, like, that's, like sometimes, sometimes that's so fast, because it's, like, really, bitch, like, I like older guys, and, like, you, you can not lie to be 10 years younger... That that was weird. It was like I, but I, okay. Well, I guess I guess someone. I guess you can do whatever you want to. You can put out an NG one, but people will still feel some kind of way. I don't know. Anyway, I think we're about time. So that's it for me. Thank you for tuning in to Rambunctious Bombastic Newscast, aka Are We and the Voice Notes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, how am I going to be celebrating? And we're just going to have sushi. I love sushi, yeah. Sushi and a side cocktail. There's this cocktail bar which I love and it's like, ah. oh my gosh. By the way, um, 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 <laughs> yeah. By the way, um, check me out on Cora. Cora. You can search for it and then like things will, things should come up. Legit, legit. Because I'm going to be, like, really, like, sharing, like, really fun things there, so. So. <laughs> huh, so, yeah. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Week after week after week. Every single Sunday. And, yeah. I shall speak to you next time. Oh, and tweet me at, Ru- at Ruben Witter if you want to as well. Like, yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> That's for me. Bye. I love you. Mwah.